Two activists were arrested outside Sesame Place today. They were protesting after the family of two black girls says they were snubbed by a costume character at the park. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts was in Langhorne as that group clashed with police. Now to the fallout on what many are calling a racially charged snub by a popular character at Sesame Place. The lawyer for the two families of the two six-year-old girls has now released a new video from a new angle to substantiate, they say, their claims. Two protesters arrested as families tried to make their way into Sesame Place place Saturday afternoon. The two men were among a group of civil rights activists, including several local Black Panther parties, urging families to boycott the children's theme park. Attorney Beivory Lamar gave Sesame Place a deadline to respond, threatening to release this new angle of the alleged incident. Because you don't even know the history of the place that you're going to. It follows a now viral video posted by a New York family who says a costume character ignored their two six year old black girls. The family says when their girls waved to the character and asked for a high five, maybe a hug, they were blatantly passed over for the white family next to them. So when you insult a child, when you traumatize a child, those children will always remember. Organizers say they want to see changes to the park's hiring and training policies. Other families have come forward with similar videos, like Sydney Moore, who says that her two-year-old son, MJ, was also ignored by the very same character. We see that right here in this video as it plays out. Your staff shouldn't be treating any child different than the other. If you're hugging children, then hug all the children. Sesame Place has apologized to the family and in a statement released Saturday calls what happened, quote, unacceptable, saying they are instituting mandatory training for all our employees. In a new statement provided to Action News Overnight, Sesame Place says in part, quote, to be very clear what the two girl, young girls experienced, what the family experienced is un unacceptable. It is our responsibility to make this better for the children and the family and to be better for all families. Many here say they will continue to speak out to prevent something like this from happening again. The number one thing is making sure that the kids still have fun here. That's what this is all about and no one should be discriminated against based on your skin color, your race, whatever it may be. Now, Another step in this, nationally renowned civil rights and personal injury attorney Ben Crump has now joined this case. They are planning a press conference for tomorrow at noon to update everyone on where we go next. You saw the video. You look in their eyes when Rosette just ignores them as if they are invisible as if they're insignificant. We've also received copies of emails of this same complaint being made to Sesame Place about their character's conduct. So again, they have been put on notice well before last Saturday. Activists also tell me they want to see the employee in the costume character fired. It's unclear if that has or will happen.